I might as film this. I might as well film this. This is a piece of uh, driftwood I found on the beach. It's a burl. If you look on the back here, like, I don't know what I'm going to carve on this yet. But what I'm going to do, and you can see there's some quilting going on in here. Those bumps like that. Um, I don't know what type of wood this is. I don't know what we're going to carve on it, but I'm going to. Looks like there's a skull face right there, like two eyes and a nose. But um, I'm going to clean it up. I might not make this video. I might make the video, but let's see what happens. I'm going to clean up the whole outside of this because it's actually burl wood, so it's nice, weird, different types of grain. Sorry, I don't have my microphone plugged, and I thought I'd stop uh, carving, cleaning this up. I think it's cotton wood, uh, actually the wood. But I don't talk about this tool that much. This is the Fordham. I, use, I run the SR series. Okay, this is the industrial flex shaft, so it's a thicker one, so they don't break. And this is the quarter inch hand piece. If, if you're getting into, want to get into bigger carvings, uh, Fordham's good to have. Uh, it's a Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr on there. Um, yeah, so these hog out wood pretty good if you're not going to get into chainsaw curving, but you want to get into bigger curvings, like dr bigger Dremel curvings. It's great to have a Fordham. I'll just show you quickly, put the camera in the overhead and remove some of the surface wood here. Okay, so I spent about a good half an hour cleaning this up. There you can see the quilting. It's not, once you take the, some of the bad wood away, it's really not that much in there, but that's what that means. Like if you sand this perfectly flat, say with like an orbit sander, you'll when the wood is perfectly flat, you'll still see the bumps in there. Um, so like when I clean up my driftwood, it takes a lot of work. Like, look at all the dust there. Put the, the, the pen there just so you can see the depth. But imagine all the dust that got sucked into my table, too. So what I did is I started with the Fordham. I showed you that. Then here is my RAM products. This is a RAM micro carver. The BP HST, I guess it's called. There's another name for it. But this one has two things that hook up to it. This is the quarter inch, too. Um, where's my Fordham one? I don't know what the Fordham spins at, but this, this one spins a lot faster than the Fordham, so this is the less aggressive burr. So there's two quarter-inch hand pieces right there. This one, the motor is in itself. Like, the, the motor is in its hand piece. It's super quiet. Both have foot pedals. Um, don't even know, I got my noise reduction microphone hooked up, but you probably can't even hear it. Let me uh, unplug this. Well... It's just a lot quieter than the Fordham. Then, so here's the one eighth hand piece that it comes with too. So you get the one eighth hand hand piece for your smaller carvings and the quarter inch. So if you do buy the RAM, I'm not sponsored by them. We're kind of, I guess we work together. Um, I do believe you get 10% off. So there's the unit that I got right here and it comes with, I don't know if you get both hand pieces when you buy this. But, um, yeah, this is a super – this is what I use most of the time, actually. I don't uh, use my Fordham too often anymore. It's just kind of like a tank. So that's going to be it for this video, just showing you guys, like, uh, what it takes to clean up your wood from the, the beach. Let's do a water test on here. There's really nothing too special about this piece of wood for me. Now you can see the quilting in there. See that? Once you sand that super flat, it looks uh, awesome. It's kind of like it's kind of like the veins of the tree, a little bit. It looks like there's like thicker veins running this way. Um, this piece, I think I'm going to make a video out of it because it's so hollow here. I was going to give this to my buddy Larry Dibbs over there at Wowie's workshop, but uh, I don't know because it's. It's going to come apart when you carve it because you see those cracks up here? These cracks are going to go down here. I could hear it vibrating when I was removing the wood. So I think I'm going to uh, 
hollow out some of down here next, scoop this out, and then make this a light, put a light down here so the light shines up in here. I just don't know what to carve. It's probably going to be, I thought about a tree, some trees up in there. But it's, I would like to leave this quilting like that so you can see it. But it's probably, I, I just don't know. Maybe I should just carve some weird, make it look like there's weird veins in there. Because you just don't know what you're going to get when you carve a piece of wood like this, right? So, I don't know. But stand by, I'm going to be carving this. Maybe tomorrow is my, uh, look, if you go like this, you can make it a bird, there's an eye, or whatever. <laughs> 